There's the West Coast bench. It's early in the centre square here. Start of the second half, Hawthorne 54 to 44. An exciting, tense first half. What will the third quarter unfold? Lawrence gets the first tap. Hart concedes a bit of ground off the ground. Breras and the handball was okay to Platten. Platten inside, good. Hall's handball. Across to Hudson, quick hands. An important one for McIntosh. A Jarman cleverly. Gowers with a chance, a little one to Brereton. Brereton off the ground. Misses. Gee, Don, what do you make of four points for Brereton? I've yes, Bruce, himself. he had, um, in the first quarter, he had two. He had one in the second, and that's his third. Oh, uh, his fourth. 7-13, 7-2. Brennan to Banger back in for West Coast. Two Hawthorne players, Gowers and the Condon, neither able to take the mark. Main Wearing is taking the big strap off the uh, the thigh for the second half. And again, a throw in Jarman back on the ground, McKenna again on him. Not too many positional changes. Lewis in the forward pocket with uh, Sumich for West Coast. Bree is still very strong. Condon comes over the top. Jarman can't control it, hasn't had a good day. Another throw in. Back on the ground, taken off just before half time, Jarman. Irving and Deer this time. Deer, who's played so well, works his way in front. Clean possession. Gowers, brilliant pickup. Took one high, but gets it to Jarman inside the 50. Pulls it back. Hudson. Clever kick, that one. And Hudson is only 30 metres out from goal. Good build up. And that's the way you do it. You open up the goal face by dragging the ball across the body like that. Paul Hudson has had a good season as a half forward. 60 goals and 47 be behinds before this game. Kicking it his second. It won't get there. In front. Brereton to Dunstall. 15 metres out. Snaps and misses again. His second out to 12 points now. His second behind, 2-2. Two, two. Jason Dunstall. I think the umpire was going to pay that mark to Brereton to play on. Not sure. Again, dear, very good from a throw-in situation. Brennan. 12 points of difference. 12 more shots, Hawthorne. Lawrence. Well, you get the feeling this man's going to be an imposing figure in the game over the next decade. Short. That's well not done. so good. Mainwaring really worked hard, didn't he, to get back. Now McKenna goes to ground but gets it out Irving. You'd expect Platten to beat him for it, and he does. Platten from 70 metres squeezes it towards Brereton. Not a good kick. Warsfold takes it at the second attempt, the captain. Swings it wide. Dangerous handball, but now Kemp goes wider again. Turley takes off. Condon in pursuit. Good bounce for Turley. Sells a dummy on Condon. Then short to Hetty. Good play, West Coast, the build-up OK. Wilson short in the centre, goes that way. Lewis provides a lead. Wilson kicks it to him very well. Lewis takes it from 50. Sumich in the square. Lewis was off before Wilson had that ball. That's why he got away from Morris. It was a good lead. He really put a lot of faith in Wilson delivering the ball and also getting it. Chris Lewis. Well, surely the advantage of the breeze is to kick goals from this distance. Saw Hudson miss much closer in a minute ago. Lewis lays back, kicks it strongly, hooks it a bit. Hasn't quite got there. Jagovic takes off, no mark pay. Hawthorne look for a free kick for holding the ball. And Jagovic, who's claiming the mark and doesn't want to give the footy up. It wasn't a mark, it had to be holding the ball. Well, one or the other. John Russo in his second grand final. Brian Sheen, his third. Lewis out of the ground. Platten caught by Hart. That's, wh that's why he's such a good player, Platten. Look at the little fellow there. He puts him under the f he puts himself under the feet of those bigger fellows. He's always burrowing in. It's hard to stop a player who's so intent on the ball. Talking about one of the best of all time, of course. Jakovic, Lewis missed it. Ayres dragged down around the legs. Tuck could have been taken high. Hasn't seen a lot of the ball today. And Lawrence drifting into the game now. Is it right half back? Towards the wing, Allen's in front, takes the mark. Interesting duel, that one, Allen and Pike. Allen recruited from Claremont. Towards the wing, behind, Waterman overran it. 
Deere in trouble. Paul, though, to Condon. 70 metres out from goal. Goes looking for Dunstall. Couldn't hang on. Kemp waiting in front. Clears the zone. Back towards the wing. Hawthorne four on two. Lawrence again. Very nimble, the big man. Not a good kick, though. Hudson crashes to the turf. Kemp on his knees. Away to Matera. Matera from half-back towards the wing. Timely fist from Tuck. Jankovic waits. Measures the hand pass. Matera goes again to Turley. He's on the wing. Centres it. Intelligent two on one, but too much carry. And Morrissey read it best off the boot. As Pritchard loose, Lamb tries to cut it off. Pritchard McKenna cleverly off the ground. Langford got a bad bounce. West Coast with numbers. Sumich overruns it. Kicks it off the ground to Morrissey. One of the best couple of players on the ground in the first half. Not a good handle. Pritchard caught by Matera. Hawthorne again with numbers here. Condon caught. Good tackle, Matera. Jakovic did very, very well. Pike off the ground. Flattened, but uh, legitimately by Lawrence, who was Dennis Committee, so rightly said, is drifting into this game strongly and becoming a force. Well, I thought Pritchard had to be holding the ball, didn't he, in the middle there? Just let it fall to the ground. The Matera tackle. Here's Deer, who's so good in this situation. I wonder why someone doesn't run at him from the side, because you can't body him. He's too strong. Now Pike. Gains about five metres, Waterman, and again a throw in. So a quiet start here for West Coast with the breeze, trailing by 12 points. Michael Malthouse, mentioned as a player in 1980, successful with Richmond. First grand final as a coach, took Footscray to third, but has gone even better here. Black has been magnificent today. Centres it, touched off the boot. McKenna sits and waits. Hudson. The handball to Morrissey. Left foot, he can kick this. He has put it through. Can do quite amazing things, Morrissey. 8 14 to 7 2. If my memory serves me correctly, he did exactly the same thing to Lewis. That's uh, Subiaco in their first encounter. Kicked it from the 50 metre line, and there he is again with the left foot. And actually, I think he kicked it with the left foot on that particular day too. And Lewis has really got to tighten up when Morrissey is on the attack. Irving's off the ground. Lock is on, and he's going onto the forward line. Jankovic is on the ball. Platten's over the ball, as he's been for the best part of the day. And the ball up. The McGarry medalist in 84, the Brownlow medalist, the joint Brownlow medalist in 87. Bounce. Jakovic with a backhander. Ayers claim. Scrambles it forward. Gower's deep in trouble there. Down goes Tuck. Main Waring goes off the ground out wide. Morrissey having a wonderful day. Lewis with courage got in front. This is Wilson against the boundary line. Chips to the pocket. Jenkins in the road. And he's drifted out of the game. More lack of opportunity than anything else. Jenky out of the back pocket. Around the outer side, Main Waring's mark, I think so. He's done well, hasn't he, Main Waring, considering the fact he's been out of the game for so long with injury. Eighth kick to Main Waring to full forward. Oh, oh great try by yeah. Hetty. Not paid. Thrown away by the Hawks. Mew, Hart and Platten. Hart was good early. Platten on top. Mew over the top. Lewis uh, Ayers just got rid of him. And again, Brian Sheen will come in and take control and a few more efforts of west coast like that of brett Hetty threw himself in regardless nearly took that, that mark against the tide there Hetty. lockyer in the front spot bit of a worry with lockyer playing on the forward line lewis cleverly to Hetty. Hetty with a high one to the goal square oh gee is that a goal i think it might be it is well wilson kicked one in the first quarter very differently to that and Hetty's kicked another a miraculous goal, and Don, if ever West Coast was going to be ignited, that might do it for them. Well, he did a terrific effort before I mentioned the, the fact the way he threw himself in, Hetty. He is a good player. That's his second goal. He kicked a long bomb in the first quarter, and he has kicked goals, or bag full. He kicked seven against St Kilda back in round 15. So he is a good player, Brett Hetty. I get the feeling the Eagles need a handy lead at three-quarter time. Over two goals at least. There's Lawrence towards half forward. And it will be a Hawthorne free to Hall held by the arm. He's in the true centre half forward position. He's played in one Hawthorne Premiership side. 
played in the Premiership in South Australia with Glenelg. Dunstall, he's gone. Now. That's got to be holding yes. the ball. Well done by Brennan. It was a good tackle. Brennan's free kick. The defensive side of left half back. Here it is. You watch here. Brennan just putting the arm out and just getting Dunstall and slinging to ground. No chance to get rid of the ball. High towards the wing. Ball bounces back into the fallen pack. Platten again in the at back. The work face pushed in the back. We'll get the free kick. So Platten, his 19th possession upcoming. Barking the instructions. Inspirational player, this man. Don't know what he had for breakfast, but I bet it wasn't Keish. There goes the kick from Platten inside the attacking 50. Back goes Deer. Clever mark. He'll be about 40 metres out from goal when he kicks. Dunstall indicating right there. He really does lack backmen, uh, Michael Malthouse. He just can't shut these forwards down. Deer. Not a good kick. Warsfold in front. Fists away. Gowers. Pursued by Main Waring, close to the boundary line, still they battle. Gowers over the ball, back to Brereton. From half forward, takes an opponent on in Lamb, then bangs it to the goal square. Deer there with a chance, and does it again. Play no, on ball. Should have been paid that. Surely a mark. Well, he had first grab, second grab, third and fourth, I reckon. Let's have another look, Don. Well, here it is, off hand. I believe. I think the umpire indicated it was touched by Warsfold off the boot. He pointed back. It's out on the full now and Hudson to bring it back in. I think that was the story, Bruce. He was pointing back to Warsfold who dived at Brereton's boot. Well, if that's a case, a good call. But uh, Deer appeared to take a clean mark. Hudson deep in the pocket. Kicked one goal today. It's Mr. Couple. Tries a check side, misses a behind. So Hawthorne peppering away, dominating as far as shots concerned. 13 more shots and lead by 13 points. Brennan to bang it back in, goes to half back. Over the top, Mew. Very good mark. Chris Mew, the veteran. Assessing the options. Goes for distance towards the pocket. Brereton. Great grab. He had to sit on that occasion, Dermot Brereton. Came in from behind. And watch this on replay. Gets away from Warsfold, but the player set in front, Brennan, and Dunn still bustling for position. They really didn't get off the ground. Important kick this one. Margin currently at 13 points. 10 at half time. Hawthorne getting a grip on this game now. Yet to kick a goal, Brereton. He's kicked four points. What can the champ do? From 35 metres out, stabs and kicks truly. Oh, that's a big goal. 9 15 to 8 2. Will that break the resistance? Well, it didn't look a good kick off the boot by Brereton. a centre half forward or a roaming forward he has kicked bags at bag fulls of goals in the past he kicked eight goals this year it was against Geelong he also kicked eight in the losing grand final in 1985 69 to 50 Djakovic has gone on to Deer Tearly misses it Hudson off the ground Main Waring's mark no 50 metre penalty Hawthorne by 19 points. Wide to Lockyer. Started the second half on the interchange. Inside to Kemp. Kemp's left foot. Hetty squeezed it to him. Hetty on the left foot. Chips it cleverly. Turley should take it. Does. Should go back and have a shot. With the breeze behind him. He's got a loose man. McIntosh on his own in the goal square. Now closed off. So Don Djakovic to the back line, McIntosh to the forward better move, A better move because uh, J uh, McIntosh has just been outbodied by both Brereton and Deer. He's just not strong enough. Turley from the pocket, drop punt, good kick by Turley, drifting at the last minute. Missing. Looked to right off the boot, looked a chance in the run. West Coast not out of this, Bruce. Three goals, but with the breeze, Don. The kick's a beauty by Langford. 
to Mew. The lights were turned on in the second quarter. It's very dark here to centre wing Condon and Kemp. Kemp hassles him, bustles him. Condon still with it, a ball in. Well done, Kemp. Don, they really need four goals in seven minutes like they produced in the first quarter. Yes, but the game, as we know now, is very, very offensive, and that margin of uh, 18 points is really not much as far as Hawthorne's lead is concerned. Locker got rid of Lawrence, smothered by Allen. Lamb's little kick, Ayres and Hetty. Hetty attacked left, right and centre. Tuck gets a kick, a high one. Locker's got to sit and wait and keep his eye on it. Punches it to half forward. Wilson with a bit of space round the body. A dive by Jenky was pretty good. A quick kick to Allen at centre wing. Goes to play on. He's gone, he's gone. The umpire signalling play on. West Coast slow to react there. Jakovic out puzzled. Deer, who's playing magnificently to Condon. Dunstall's the target. The kick to the pocket. Dunstall will try and turn his opponent inside out, squares it up. But Mainwaring, who's had a very good third quarter to take the mark. Mainwaring to play on. Bangs it very wide. Looking towards Lamb. Gee, it was a great kick. Lamb should come inside and go on. Goes over to Lockyer. Maybe not the best option. They're going very wide here. Lockyer quite slow. High ball towards half forward. Sumix trying to get into the play. Kicked four goals in the first half. Mew. A little too easy as far as West Coast is concerned. And Lawrence has been the dominating player. Play on call from half back. Towards the wing. Main wearing favoured. Still he goes, and wearing across the ground. Matera has drifted out of the game. Runs forward at the centre square, chips it out wide, and the mark is held by Hetty. Well, they desperately need a goal here. Brett Hetty, who kicked from just inside the 50. He's got two this afternoon. He fancies himself because Sumich was by himself away from Langford. He got it away quickly, Hetty. He could have, they could have capitalised West Coast. He let one go from 60 metres, 55, 60 metres in the first quarter and kicked it. Red Henny. Kicks and kicks very well. No substitute for quality. He's got three and the Eagles come again. They will not lie down. 9-15 to 9-3. That's a make. That's a sign of a great player in the makings. When you can kick a goal like that, here it is. The build-up. Main wearing, who's really come into this in the third quarter. Matero, who's had a dirty day against Pritchard, spots Hetty, and his kick for goal. Fantastic. 17 possessions now for Chris Main wearing Back in the middle, Lawrence Allen battling against Pike. Lock is over the ball. Allen with courage dives on top of it. And the bounce. Inside the last 10 minutes of the third term. 9-15 plays 9-3. Player Sheehan puts it down. It's Lawrence misses kick. the ball. Lockyer will get a free kick. He can kick it a long way, Andrew Lockyer. Distance required here. Wilson breaks for it. It's a massive kick. They'll contest on the 50-metre line. Big pack. Wilson couldn't hang on. Morrissey has been superb. Jenky now. Matera does well. Still Matera. Just outside the 50. Matera goes long inaccurately. Gee, that was a great effort by Matera. He was out of position then. It was just pure speed that got him the ball. His work on playing a little tighter on uh, Pritchard would be a better player. Pitch out a bit quieter now, but uh, material with a couple of important plays in the last two minutes. Mew goes wide, looking for Gowers, main wearing. He and Lawrence have had tremendous uh, third quarters. Main wearing up to 13 kicks now. This is number 13, too far out. 65 metres, bangs it to the goal square. Sumich, Morrissey, throw in in the pocket. Well, he's got to be high in the voting for the Norm Smith medal for the best player on the ground, Morrissey. Right there with men like Platten and Deer at this stage. Here's Lewis. Still Lewis for goal. He's done it. He's kicked his second. Well, he's a magician. And suddenly, West Coast are back within five points. Lewis with two goals. Ten goals, four to nine goals, 15. And really, it's been a gritty effort to get back. 
All they need is a couple of other players to lift and they'd be right back in this for West Coast. Chris Lewis, the second goal. Well, it's a grand final that's building and building now. 69 to 64, Condon out of the centre. Do the Hawks have the answer again like they've had most of the day? Lawrenson to Gowers. There's a fight in the centre square. Lock here. Deer, Deer gives it away beautifully. Condon should kick it easily. They've answered again, the Hawks. There's the fight going on. But the important play was at the other end, with Condon running into an open goal at 10.15 to 10.4. Not a good sign for West Coast that Hawthorne could respond so quickly. And here's the goal, but whilst all this was going on, Lockyer and Lawrence were at it in the centre square. Condon will finish it off again. Deer involved. Good one, too. But Lockie has got to put himself more in at this centre bounce. He really didn't jump aggressively at that uh, last bounce down. Hall off the ground. Anderson on for Hawthorne. He's got to line Lawrence up and jump into him. Vintage Hawthorne for their 10th goal. Lockyer casting the role of a ruckman. Actually roves that one. They scramble after it. And there'll be a ball up with their Achilles heel. They're rucking during the course of the year by and large. Especially against bigger opponents. Hurting them again today, the West Coast Eagles. They're improvising. Lawrence gets it down. Condon, Allen, away to Anderson. Kicks inside the attacking 50. Off courage there from four players. They scramble after it. Diaz shovels it out. Jakovic has grabbed it now. Boots to the other side. Wing Tuck goes back and takes the mark. Has Morrissey running if he wants him. 39th final. 11th grand final. Bangs it to Deer. He's the problem, Bruce. Yes, he's been the uh, problem for a lot of teams this year. Kicks that to the goal square. Warsfold looks for a free kick. Going the other way to Brereton. Well, this could really be significant here. The captain giving a free kick away in the goal square. To the kid. Hanging on to his arm. Then Brereton hanging on and looking for a free and getting it. Isn't it amazing? The umpires have let a lot of that go on and get away, go on without being penalised through the season. And at a critical stage like this, they pay it. Well, Brereton to kick his second for the third quarter, and Hawthorne to really stretch this lead again. He does. 11 15, 11 4 to 10 4. And Hawthorne are away again at 81 to 64. Brereton's got two. And those two goals coming in this the third quarter. He's kicked. 2-1 in the third quarter, Burton. And it was touch and go. There's the free kick initially, but you can also see Brereton holding on. So maybe the umpire could have let it go. Anyone plays 64, just over six minutes remaining till three-quarter time. Steve Lawrence looking intense as Hawthorne are trying to deliver the knockout punch here now. Condon has been instrumental in getting it out of the centre on the last three occasions. Try it again. There's Wilson over his head. Morrissey against the flow. Knocked on by Wilson. Taken by Lamb. Probing kick down towards the kickoff line. McIntosh appeared to be held. Running away from goal. Pushed off the kick superbly. Great defence there by Newey. Boots it out wide. It's running towards the boundary. Anderson content to get it across. Chris New. Wonderful balance, body to body. Simply too strong for McIntosh. There's the throw in. Lawrence in front. Ears over the top. Pumps it back out of bounds. The experienced players coming to the fore now for Hawthorne. Wait for the throw in. Lawrence has done very well. Nicely to Condon, a way to Pritchard, towards the wing, McKenna, wonderful mark. He's done well today, hasn't he, Guy McKenna? Centre wing, was going to give it to Pike, then goes round Jarman. Inside to Kemp, again McKenna. Bangs it towards centre half forward. Heaney wrestling with Jenkins. The two ones, Jenkins clearly. This very minute, his sister's captaining Victoria against New South Wales in an Australian netball final, so it's a big day for the family. Mew. Gee, his play, as Dennis said a minute ago on uh, McIntosh, was terrific. 
McIntosh now on the half back line. Well, he's been everywhere, Don, today. Here's Hart. Should kick it accurately to the centre. Does to Lockyer. Can stretch it wide to Turley. He does. Who can go all the way here if it sits. Can go right in and kick a goal if it sits it quickly enough. Should run and attack. Doesn't really. Chips it off to Hetty cleverly in the end. And Hetty, the man who can kick them. Djakovic off now. What's happened is McIntosh has gone back onto Deer. Waters has come on and he's gone half forward. And Djakovic has had a tremendous uh, final series, but uh, not so good today. So Djakovic and Irving sitting alongside one another. Well, Hetty's kicked three. And to say that West Coast needs this would be telling you the obvious. Trailing by 17 points. Kick one from the other pocket a moment ago. This one's tougher. Drop punt. Leans over it. Looks to have kicked it very well. Has. Four to Hetty, and he's keeping West Coast in the game. 11-15 to 11-4. And three of those have come in this the third quarter, and what another great kick from this fellow. I've got great admiration for him, because obviously he's looked at himself and said, yes, I've got to improve, and he's lifted the weights. But also he hasn't neglected the skill aspect of his game. Andy Collins on, Jarman off for Hawthorne. Centre square infringement. So Lawrence takes the resultant free kick and boots towards half forward. Off hands, it runs behind. Waterman, out of his own defensive area, back to midfield. Lawrence uncontested, drops the mark. In trouble now, no tuck on the assist. Feeds it wide. Mew will go again. Made it awkward for Morrissey. Knocked away by Lewis, taken by Hetty, down towards full forward. Big play this one. Back they go. Langford leads in the race and through it goes for a minor score. I can say that this breeze is backing around. It's starting to go across the ground. More drama then. Under three minutes remain in this third term. New drops the mark. He's at right half back with ample time. Settles. Intended for Anderson. Punched away by Kemp. It's out of bounds and we'll have a throw in. What about that breeze? It certainly has started to go across the ground. Gee, I wonder who's standing mute, Don. I mean, he had a paddock there, didn't he? Some loose check by West Coast. Some play, Bruce. Collins has gone to the half-forward flank, being picked up by McKenna. Inside for Pritchard. Quite third term after a terrific first half. Mew off one leg to the centre square. Off Deer's leg. Waters caught. It's had a disappointing day. Hawthorne force it through it forward. Brereton cleverly. Condon's been a big success in this third quarter. Ducks, turns, wheezes and kicks it to Hudson in the pocket. Can't take it. And it's going to come off Brennan for a throw in. News by, Mew's by himself too. I'm just watching Mew. There is nobody picking Mew up at all. Now Mew's playing at centre half back. There he is. Oh, no wonder he is loose. Well, this is where Deer can be very good. Body to body. He usually wins out. That time he pushes McIntosh. Brereton looks for half a free kick. Deer cleverly with strength to Anderson. Oh, great kick for goal. Look at that one. A beauty. Well, Deer did it again. Anderson produced the magic at the end. 12, 15, 11, 5. And just as that move was happening for Hawthorne and that goal, the 12th being kicked by Anderson, Kemp has now gone to centre-half forward, being picked up by the bigger new. Here it is. Again, the big body being put in by Deer. Enough strength to retain his position. Gets it across to Anderson. And that was a good kick for goal, really. Instinctive football getting that last goal, aided by a strength for the Hawks. This is Allen confronted by Lamb. Down he goes, knocked on by Ayers. Pike's got it now, and the Eagles start to run. They're going goal for goal at BFL Park. This is Pike, 60 metres out. Long bomb. Hetty is going back, not required. It's a goal. What a grand final. The two heavyweights of the competition are slugging it out. Ten points the margin. Hawthorne lead. Just over a minute remaining in this third term. Good what a tackle. great tackle by that Lamb on that occasion. And watch this kick. The only thing you can be critical of here is that Sumich has made the lead. Now, forwards don't know when to lead when a guy's bouncing the ball in that fashion. But Pike, equal to the task. What a magnificent kick. Did it himself. They won't be denied the West Coast. Marvellous game of football, this one. Befitting a grand final. Lawrence. To Gowers, virtually straight up in the air. 
Anderson, valiant attempt. Turley's got it. Strong tackle. Platten. McKenna feeds Matera. Smothered off the foot by Lawrence. The players doing the right thing now. They're programmed for this. Lewis. They've got a three-on-two situation, the Eagles. Off the ground, though, by Jenky. Saves the day. It was great play by Jenky because he was outnumbered. Gowers and Mainwaring. Mainwaring should leave it for Lockyer. He's caught in the end and goes. Langford on the up. Gowers from half-back. Rain just lightly falling here. Pritchard centre wing. Inside 30 seconds now in this third quarter. West Coast must deny Hawthorne here. They trail by 10 points. Condon to half forward. Missed by Hall. Pike's handball to McKenna. It was Anderson who missed it. McKenna from half back. Centre wing. Heady with a big fly. Now Jenky. Sits and waits. Steadies. Drop punt okay. Condon. Big game Condon. 14 kicks, 10 handballs now. It's his 14th. Well, Siren will go any second. There will be no further score in this third quarter. It goes now. So the scene is set. The stage has been constructed for the final term. Hawthorne lead by 10 points at 12.15 to 12.5.